Hi folks, welcome to another Odd Artworks, where I go from a blank page to a finished artwork all about surreal, odd, fantastical, whimsical, sometimes a bit dark artworks. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, I'm going to take you through my digital painting process. So I'm producing a, a painting on Adobe Photoshop, uh, which is my go-to application for any kind of digital artwork, really. Um, the only problem I, I really had was that I paint using a Cintiq, which is kind of a tablet I plug into my computer, and my recording software seemed to not like working with that. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to record the process in real time, but I do have uh, kind of a step-by-step -step of how I, I did it. Um, so I hope you enjoy. If you do enjoy it, give the video a like, and please subscribe to the channel for more. Um, and feel free to share this to anybody you like. And I suppose without further ado, here's my fantastical digital painting about woodcutters in a fantasy world. Enjoy. Okay, so even though this is a digital illustration, I approach it the same as I would any painting or traditional piece of artwork by producing thumbnails. And the only thing I'm trying to do with the thumbnails is tell the story I want to tell in the most straightforward way possible, just working with simple shapes and silhouettes essentially, not worrying about detail, and just trying to get a composition that's pleasing to me. Uh, and sometimes this this can take sort of nine or ten thumbnails, other times it can take hundreds of them. But for this time I, I think I was I think I got to a point I was happy. Uh, and so I, I used one of them as a starting point. So this was the thumbnail I chose. I think I did it about seven images in. Um, I feel it got everything I wanted. I had the three characters sort of ready to challenge this ferocious tree monster. It shows the scale of the monster and um, the silhouettes are working quite like, nicely. Um, so I decide that's the one I want to really start playing around with in terms of moving things around. Still not worried about detail at this stage. So then I take that thumbnail and I make it the size the finished artwork's going to be and I start taking elements out, adding elements in. I decided I wanted a bit more context that they were in a forest so I added the tree monster sort of pulling these trees apart to reach the, the, the woodcutters as they're challenging the monster. Uh, and I felt this framed it quite well. Um, so I felt this composition was, was ready to go and I felt quite confident moving forward with it from there on out. Um, you know, still a, a long way to go, but as a starting point, you know, I couldn't really hope for too much more with this. Okay, so this might look like a bit of a jump, but uh, just like with any other painting I would do, uh, I started picking out the important areas, so the, the tree monster's face being the largest part of it, the main guy sort of uh, framed by the, the arm and the tree, and some of the other characters, just trying to fill in some of the gaps. Again, nothing's blended particularly well. They're really just placeholders at that point. Um, I did use some reference photos of myself with my back to the camera to get the pose right. Um, but yeah, you know, that was a good starting point for me. So I was, I was quite happy at this stage. So I then started playing around with value and colour um, and also the soldier's face at the bottom. Uh, I played with his face quite a lot because I just couldn't get it right for the longest time. And here I'm just starting to think about colour. I wanted it to seem quite fantastical so I was sort of playing around with reds and violets and things like that as sort of the hue of the whole image. But I, I had a ways to go at this point. So you can see I ditched the violet in favour of a more traditional foresty kind of colour. Um, at this stage I've blocked in an awful lot more detail. It's still quite rough, but uh, I'm getting a feel to how much is going on. Uh, Value-wise, everything's still kind of flat. I realise I do need to make some alterations between the characters in the foreground and the tree monster because he's much further back. Uh, but on the whole, I felt it was looking quite good at this stage. With this next stage I add colour and uh, everything sort of starts to become a bit more alive and your values seem to pop more and for me this is always the stage that feels the most destructive um, and it's also the when I start making serious changes, probably not to the composition but more to the, the value and the contrast of, of things. Um, 
you can see already I'm starting to blend some of the muscles on the, the big warrior's arm and, you know, sort of playing around with the silhouette or the shadow areas of the, the main figure that stood on the tree stump. Uh, and also bringing that fiery glow to the tree's mouth. Um, this is also the stage that I refer to as the stage of infinite tweaks, where everything changes quite a lot. As I tweak around the image, I make little changes, I change the size of hands, heads, all the rest of it. Um, and, it and it can go on for a very long time, this. this is probably the longest part of the process. And so when that's done, you can see I've made quite a lot of changes to, for the final artwork. Um, here you can see uh, I've knocked the tree back a little bit, so he's not quite as dark as the figures in the foreground. I've warmed everything up. I've, I've added a purple to the shadows um, to give it kind of a, a weird, freaky kind of look to the thing. Um, I've still decided at this point there's still a ways to go. You can see that a lot of the background is, is quite unresolved. But in terms of the important parts of the image, the characters and the tree monster, and the way everything's sort of the lights hitting things based on the mouth of that thing being the light source, essentially, um, I think I've achieved what I need to achieve. So the stage of continually tweaking the image can now carry on and hopefully we can see the finished thing now. So the, the period of eternally tweaking things has changed. You can see I've refined a lot of the detail, knocked some of it back. Uh, I've worked on that background, um, altered the soldier's face again, so it, it kind of feels like it fits in a little bit more. Um, and you know, this was done over two sessions, so it was a two day image. Um, so for the time I've put into it, I'm actually really pleased with this. I feel it communicates the idea of being a woodcutter in a fantasy world is probably more perilous than it already is in, in this world. So um, I'm quite happy with the way it's all turned out. So yeah, this will probably end up being a, a portfolio piece. Um, you know, this is sort of the work that I'm getting at the moment. So it would make sense to sort of promote it that way. Uh, but yeah, you know, so not bad for, for a two, two, two day project, you know, really nice. So what I hope you take away from this is that though, you know, working creatively is intimidating, if you, if you take it one step at a time and not try and achieve too much with each step, um, it all comes together. You know, ultimately there's an awful lot of detail in this piece, but by building up slowly, making sure each stage works, um, you can create quite a satisfying piece of artwork. Okay, folks, as always, if you like the video, give it a like and please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. It helps me out a lot. Okay, folks, I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Bye now.